Hey, we are back, baby. <laughs> we took a long, long week off, didn't we? Seemed like a long week. And guess who's back with me? Who's back with me? Who's back with me? Who's back with me? What? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the Doug Man. Doug and Doug. He said, what's up? <laughs> yeah, the Duck Man is back with me. Then we're back on the road again, Dad. Yep. Man, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I ain't cut out to be no doggy daddy, stay at home daddy. <laughs> they like to drove me crazy, man. Around the house for a whole uh, week while, while my wife Teresa was out of town on business. Had to stay home and take care of the babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, so we're back on the road again. It's Saturday morning. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm making this video this time of morning, it's because I got to be in uh, Folkston, Georgia, no later than 8.30. And it is 4 a.m. right now, Eastern Time. And we can't roll for about another eight minutes. We're waiting on our uh, eight hour sleeper break to roll around and then we'll get our time back. We'll be good to go. Uh, if I left right now, I'd have three hours and 37 minutes, which is about how long it would take me to get over there. So when I got over there, I wouldn't be able to get loaded. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and finish out this eight hour sleeper break. We'll get back some time because we only drove yesterday combined, I think it was like two hours and 30 minutes. And that was just to uh, go get the truck at the shop, go to Mariana, pick up the empty trailer and come back over here to, to Havana to the house. And uh, so we did that. And uh, so we should get back a nice hunk of hours, uh, enough to get over to Folkestone, get loaded and maybe get on up in to uh, Northern Georgia or South Carolina somewhere. We're going to Dunn, South Carolina is where we're delivering to. Man, I tell you, <laughs> so, booking loads with Landstar, for you people that are considering coming to Landstar, booking loads for Landstar is an art. And you're looking at Picasso. <laughs> that's bragging, that's tooting my own horn right there. And I'll, I'll admit it, man, if these loads don't cancel out, and everything goes through the way I've got it booked. Ooh, woo! <laughs> Tell them, Duck. Say, we're going to be sitting on a pile of money, ain't we? Say, hey, kid. Say, I can afford to splurge a little, maybe. Get me a new collar, huh? Yeah, get a new collar. But uh, check it out. All right, this load I'm going to get in Folkson, eh, it's average pay. It's nothing, nothing spectacular. It's about my minimum, what I knew, used to haul for, close to it. Uh, and then the next load after that, uh, I want to say it's just a smidge above mm, my minimum, or maybe a smidge below. Yeah, okay, the next one, okay, not this one, but the one after this one is actually, I think, 14 cents below my minimum cutoff, which is $2.50 a mile gross. I won't haul anything for less than that. But this was an exception. I took this load because it gets me over to, um, it gets me over close to Ashland City, Tennessee. And, uh, and uh, out of done, it'll get me over there. And then once I get there, I'm getting a good load. Uh, dropping hook uh, to uh, Oklahoma, uh, 8,700 pounds, $2.82 a mile. Now you take those two, put them together, and that brings me back up above my average of the, the 250 a mile I have to have. So I'm, I'm good, I'm good. And uh, minimum deadhead, hardly any. Um, then once we get to Oklahoma, I'm going to Broken Arrow, that's where that load's going. I'm picking up in prior Oklahoma coming back to St. Petersburg, Florida. What, are you crazy? Why would you come back to St. Petersburg? Don't you know it's a dead zone down there? You ain't getting out of there. That's okay, Bubba, because I'm coming back at 3.53 a mile. What? A dollar and three cents over my minimum. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're talking over $4,000 for 
See, we pick it up Friday, deliver Monday. What, three days work? <laughs> I'll take that. That's good money. I'll take that. So, uh, and I got from now until Monday the 29th when the load delivers in St. Pete to uh, get me a load out of Florida, right? So I got my load alert set up, you know, as soon as something pops up down there that pays close to my minimum, boom, book it, get out of South Florida. If it doesn't, something doesn't come up that pays, you know, enough to, to consider taking it, then we deadhead out. We still make money, man. I'm talking a dollar and three cent a mile over what I need to make a profit. We're talking all right at 1200 miles that's like 1200 extra dollars on top of what i need to make a profit yeah i'll take i'll pay that out of st pete so uh we got all our loads booked from now until monday the 29th so we're looking for a load uh coming out of south florida on monday the 29th to uh to get us back up into georgia alabama south carolina anywhere just get us out of there so uh, we'll see. And uh, in the meantime, between now and then, we're gonna be making some videos, seeing what's going on, and uh, have a little bit of fun, I guess. <laughs> I, had I, I had considered staying around for uh, a few more days because uh, Teresa's gotta go out of town again, but she's not leaving until Tuesday morning. She'll be back Thursday afternoon, so it's two days. And we already got everything set up, so the puppy dogs are gonna be taken care of. The three that's left at the house, Abby, McGee, and uh, Ellie, uh, they'll have uh, plenty of food, plenty of water, and uh, plus we have cameras set up so we can keep an eye on them. And uh, we may even get some, uh, my brother-in-law and him to go by and check on them one day, just to make sure they're okay. They'll be all right when they do it. So yeah, they'll be okay, Dad. <laughs> as long as they got plenty to eat, yep. So uh, anyway, just making this quick video, let y'all know what's going on, and uh, that we're fixing to get rolling out, go get loaded, and uh, woo, start this week off, man. Just keep our fingers crossed and keep praying that uh, nothing jinxes us. I broke the uh, um, Jason and um, Heather, the uh, the crafty truckers. I broke the golden rule. I talked about loads that I have not picked up yet. <laughs> I've got them booked. I just hadn't picked them all up yet. But I was I was so excited, man. I was I was like, you know, I, I booked the load. And I was like, oh, let's see if there's anything in that area. Oh, look at this pizza. Oh, hey, it's pretty good. And then they just started lining up. Boom, 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 boom. You know? And uh, I booked all the loads within like an hour. You know? And I'm done. All I have to do now is set my load alerts, wait for something to pop up coming out of South Florida. And uh, I got, like I said, I got a whole week to make that happen. So... So we're excited. Can't wait to get this week going. So hopefully, the best part, maybe we'll uh, see some of y'all out there while we're on our journey. Uh, this week, we like I said, we're going in uh, North Carolina. We're going over to Mount Vernon, Tennis, uh, Mount Vernon, Indiana. And uh, then we're picking up in Ashton City, Tennessee. And then we're going uh, to Oklahoma. Hey, maybe we'll get to hit those Oklahoma scales. See what Pale Rider's talking about all the time. And uh, in the meantime, y'all keep an eye out for me. And if you see me, hey, holler at me. Let's talk, you know. And uh, it'd be great catching up with some of you uh, people out there on the road, you know, that that uh, we kind of communicate and keep up with each other through YouTube. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So I hope I get to meet some of y'all. Uh, we're going to have a fun week. And uh, don't be afraid to holler at me, okay? Uh, if you ever want to get in contact with me with anything, my uh, my email address is uh, the truckers table at gmail.com. All one word, the truckers table uh, at, at gmail.com. So anytime you want to email me, shoot me an email. You know, if uh, shoot me your phone number, I'll call you. You know, or send you my phone number, you can call me, and uh, we'll see. Oh, my time just flipped over. We got eight hours and 54 minutes. Boom, we gone. Let's get out of here. Y'all be safe. And if you're an owner operator, what'd you say, CB? Don't be hauling no cheap freight. <laughs>